dog is called Gracie. She's 10. I'm very friendly. We pet her. Morning. We're ready for our five hour journey. We're just waiting for the bus to come and pick us. Do you think they'll come? I'm, I'm worried now. <laughs> of course, they were quite on time yesterday. He was early yesterday. Yeah. Maybe he told us 10 minutes early today so that we would be here on time. I'm hoping. On the bus now. Without our third partner, it's quite sad. But we are going on the Great Ocean Road. It's like past nine. I think we just had our first bathroom break. And um, we're just going to. Stalagmites. No, stalactites because they're hanging down. It's raining, so luckily they gave us ponchos, but we're on the beach now. It's so beautiful, beautiful! We're going to walk to the edge. But it's really super sandy. I'm like, I'm like falling in. <laughs> this, is a, this is the beach we were just on. You can kind of see So the footage, oh my god, my eyes. The footage you just saw there was for the 12 apostles and we're now at Gibson Steps and we're just, we're, we're chilling on the bus at the moment because it's like one and we're, we are, we're due back at 1.20. We like literally just came here, but we got so badly rained on. <laughs> like I was wearing the poncho and it's like drenched and my it doesn't cover like your legs. So my jeans are all soaking and um, it's not, it's not so fun. But yeah, Alice has a bit of a headache, I think, but it's okay. We're going to go in and get blown about a bit. Are you bringing a poncho? So this is um, Gibson Steps, and of course you can walk down, down there. Ah, they got caught in the water! <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can see that, but that's funny. But this is such a beautiful place. I went down a few steps. So gorgeous as ever. I feel like these people are going to get washed away again in a minute. <laughs> so I think this is as far as I'm going to go. She's looking pretty rough. She's running away. Oh well. Scared of the sea. The sun just came out and it's beautiful. Oh, look at those white, smoky sea waves. There's a seagull here just now and it like runs away when the wave comes. and we 
you're gonna go and try and fly it. And then that was the worst Australian accent you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> see, see, they're here. Penguin parade. It's <gasps> the kangaroo parade. So many. He's that strange. He's out here on his own. Hello. <laughs> so this is the mountain ash tree that's like 500 years old. It's giant. Oh, I can't even. Yeah. He said the best way to take photos is panorama. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> and there's like one that's been chopped. Up there and then it's like lying on the ground and then about to fall over. So yeah, it's like candy strikes, isn't it? Ah, sorry my finger. Um we're doing a jungle trek kind of right now. It's like half an hour's worth of jungle trekking. Sue is not in the right head space. She's got a bit of a headache I think from because she got wet in the rain, like her hair got super wet and she didn't have a poncho and then she's wearing the wrong kind of shoes as well and it's annoying and I think it's just started to rain again and I don't have my poncho this time either, and so no one has our poncho, because so, um, they're all on the bus. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna pretty much run if it starts to peg it down. Hopefully, that is not the case. It's just spinning a little bit, and maybe the canopies in the rainforest will just hold off the rain a little bit while we get to our destination. I feel like I can hear the sea, but it could also be rain or wind. Maybe both. We're in this shop called Inuka Orange Hot Chocolate and some chips. We've just stopped by another place to see if we can spot some wild koalas, I think. Or maybe that's the next stop, I'm not sure. But can you hear the parrots or whatever they are, like something squawking loudly. It's cool. You see them flapping their wings around, it's quite fun. Someone spotted one. Can't see it. Where is it? Oh, he's right at the top! In the tree. <laughs> it looks like a bunch of leaves. <laughs> Here's a very high ball of grass, and there's another one spotted over the other side, so we're gonna go and look. There we go. I just spotted this guy and he's like right in the front of the tree. You can see him. Oh, really like, oh look, he's looking at us. He looks pretty fat. <laughs> look at that long flat nose. He just looks so cute. And they are fluffy. Ah, oh, pretty bird. So pretty. Ah, oh, he just flew to here. Look at the red feathers. This is the beginning of the Great Ocean Road, I guess. Excellent. But we we Excellent. drove the other way because we did a reverse tour. So we should take one together. Yeah. So this is the lighthouse that they used used to, to be a lighthouse keeper that ran it when it used to be run on. I think this is the lake. We just stopped by for a toilet break stop. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So I just, it's not really pretty. Look at that kind of horizon y sunset thing going on. They're vegetarians. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, I'll, I'll sort of put it on the table here as well, just to let you know. There's, there's a vegetarian one there. There's... I'm starting with the mark. Alice is going for corn, something with corn on it. Guess where we are? Coles. Again. We are picking up some stuff for Sue to take home to her friends and stuff and sing. And um, that shot for Singapore, if you didn't know. I'm pretty delirious, I'm pretty tired. I don't have to, I'm not carrying anything today, so I'm pretty cool. I don't think I'm gonna buy anything though. I just saw chicken salt and I'm like, should I buy another packet? Who knows? <laughs> 
<laughs> I just found like an empty jar of Vegemite. It's like still sealed. I saw it on the shelf and I was like, what? It's an empty jar of Vegemite. So random. What? What time is it? 11.30. Is it? We came back and um, my scarf was a little bit stained from colors. I look so weird in this. Let me take my hair down. Maybe that's better. <laughs> And then, um, so we're doing another load of laundry to hopefully wash the um, grey out bit, but I don't think it will. It smells, I can smell the sesame oil, it smells so good. We're having cup noodles because Alice's favourite. <laughs> Sue, her name is Sue and also Alice, so we should all call her Sue. <laughs> and the dryer's on too, so it's super noisy in here. Um, yeah, it's good. Are you talking to Uncle Mike? Yeah, like <laughs> we've so got foster cute. parents here in Australia. Yeah. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go now, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, we did go to Coles. So in Coles, I bought this tuna for my dad. It's John West tuna with Indonesian sambal chili and tuna. I was gonna say knut, a nut, because that's what it looks like. It no, and then and it also got Uncle some raisins. Mike. Actually, so it's cheaper than you Uncle can. Mike actually um, misunderstood misunderstood that your name is Lim, not Lim. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Lim. <laughs> what did he say? Who starts the conversation first? It's like, Hi, Uncle Mike is Oh, you did you? Oh, so cute. My foster parents in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> they live in New York and they said we should go visit them. They own a preschool, which is really cute. So I think we're going to have to someday. Yeah, the noodles look like they expanded a bit more now. Yeah. Quickly eat it. Okay. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow. Say bye.